iPhone 5S versus Xiaomi Redmi Pro that's coming up right now. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech helping to master your technology and welcome to the iPhone 5S versus the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. So let's begin with the boot up test on both of these devices while we talk about both. Three, two, one, let's go. And you can see the Apple logo shows first. It doesn't mean it will boot up first though. Let's see which one gets there first. So the Apple iPhone 5S, we all know what it is. We gotta talk much about it. A7 chipset, one gigabyte of RAM over there on the iPhone 5S. Over here on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro, this is a budget device, a Chinese budget smartphone with a 5.5 inch AMOLED display, three gigabytes of RAM and a 10 core deca core CPU. Now, these devices, I think this comparison actually is, you know, doable because the iPhone 5S and this phone are right around 200 bucks, depending on where you get it. The 5S might be a little bit cheaper than the Xiaomi Redmi Note Pro, but you know, I think the Note Pro is might be the better device. So the iPhone 5S slightly boots ahead quicker than the Xiaomi Pro. That was pretty shocking. I wasn't expecting that there for the 5S. So the 5S is gonna give you LCD technology here on the screen, 326 pixels per inch, whereas you get an AMOLED display here for the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. This is 401 pixels per inch. So the Xiaomi Redmi Pro has the sharper display here of the two. Now, you have fingerprint scanners on both devices. This is first generation Touch ID here, and this is just a standard fingerprint scanner here on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. Now, this fingerprint scanner, I have found it to be quicker than the iPhone 5S. It's actually closer to iPhone 6S in its second generation Touch ID scanner. So, good stuff here for the Xiaomi Redmi Pro on the fingerprint scanner. Now, both of these devices do come with metal body, so you do get an aluminum classic design here of the iPhone 5 here on the iPhone 5S, and you do get a metal body here on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. Most Xiaomi phones do have metal bodies and you can see right here we do have a dual camera setup. This is a 13 megapixel camera here and a five megapixel camera here. You might be asking, well, what does that camera do there on the second one? It's basically to change the aperture to get a blur in the background. So it is a pretty nice feature to have that dual camera setup and that's possible due to the Helio X20 CPU in this device. You can read more about the MediaTek Helio X20 in here. I'll leave a link down below in the description area of this video. But we're gonna go ahead and get into the application test to just see which one is faster in the real world, everyday app openings, as we always do here around these parts. Now, I know a lot of people might just be watching if they have no interest in the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. They just wanna see the iPhone 5S beat this phone, which we're gonna see if it does. I don't think it will. So there is a performance mode here on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. So I'm gonna go to the Xiaomi Redmi Pro here. There is a performance mode to make this device faster and I'm leaving that on because the iPhone 5S runs at its peak speeds all the time. So I think it's only fair to have the Xiaomi Redmi Pro run at its peak speeds. So let's go ahead and make sure everything is closed out there, which it is, everything is closed out there. Let's come home here. And I will be doing the review on the Redmi Pro soon, so stay tuned to the channel for that. Let's go into calendar here on both. And you've seen the Xiaomi Redmi Pro ahead. Let's come home here on both. You can see the Xiaomi back home first. So Xiaomi is up 1-0 on the 5S in this test. Let's go into calculator. Xiaomi Redmi Pro. Let's come home, Xiaomi Redmi Pro. Let's go into camera. You can see iPhone 5S wins it on the camera. So going to clock on both devices here. And you can see the Xiaomi Redmi Pro again. Let's come home. Let's go into YouTube. Okay, so now we're gonna get into some third party apps. Let's see how they do on the third party apps. YouTube. And you can see Xiaomi Redmi Pro ahead. Now the 5S. So the Xiaomi Redmi Pro is a solid device here. I'm really telling you guys, three gigs of RAM, 10 core processor at under 300 bucks. This is a pretty nice device. And you could get the, the slightly more expensive device with four gigs of RAM and the Helio X25. This is actually the standard edition and is beating the 5S. Let's come home here. And you can see Xiaomi back home every time. Let's go on the app high geek here. And who's gonna win it on this one? Boom, so the 5S takes it on a Pi Geek there. Only slightly though. Let's come home here and let's go into App Store and Play Store. And the Xiaomi Redmi Pro wins that one. It's pretty clear to see night and day faster there. Let's come home. Let's go into weather on both. And you can see Xiaomi Redmi Pro ahead again. And it's not because this is a new device and I've had the 5S a while, you know, I don't really use either one of these devices as my dailies. They don't be in any use. So there's hardly any cash buildup on either device right now. So they're both running at peak speeds. Let's go into settings here. 
and you could see looks like the Xiaomi won that one let me know down below let's own on both devices and you can see the Xiaomi Redmi Pro ahead there let's come on let's go on the Twitter on both devices and you can see the Xiaomi Redmi Pro ahead once again by actually a good chunk there let's go home here let's go into voice memos and recorder you could see that was about dead even let's come home let's go into Instagram Xiaomi Redmi Pro ahead again let's come home here let's go into the browsers and let's just go to yahoo.com here for the 5s and let's go here on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro let's go in three two and let's go and you can see the 5s won that test pretty easily so Safari might be the better browser here let's go to youtube.com let's go to youtube.com here for the Xiaomi Redmi Pro let's go to youtube.com in three two and let's go and you can see the iPhone 5s ahead again so it looks like this browser for Xiaomi's browser is not as well optimized as Safari so iPhone is gonna win the browsing test it might be a little bit closer if I download Chrome but for the stock browsers Safari definitely takes the win let's go on eBay and you can see it looks like the iPhone 5s has won that test let's come home here and let's go to Amazon and it looks like the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. Let's come home here. Let's go into a speed test and let's see what happens here. Who can find the server first? So iPhone 5S there and we're still waiting on the Xiaomi right there. So let's go into Temple Run and let's see what happens here. So iPhone 5S ahead and now the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. So let's come home here. Let's jetpack Joyride on both devices and let's see which one gets there first in this testing. So it looks like the Xiaomi is going to take this one. So yes, the Xiaomi takes this one here over the 5S. Okay, let's go home here. And let's go into the multitasking now and just see how they perform. So their multitasking is pretty similar. You know, the Xiaomi's is not quite the same, but it, it's both a card view right to left. So let's see which one holds applications better in the background. So let's go to calendar on both devices. And you can see dead even there on the reload there. Let's go into calculator on both devices. And looks like the Xiaomi had to reload there, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. And it looks like they both held them pretty good there in the background. And let's go ahead and go into Amazon on both devices here. Let's go to Amazon here on both devices if I can find it. It's all upside down here on the Xiaomi. Let's go there. And you can see it looks like that was about the same. Let's go here and let's find another application. Let's go to eBay eBay on both devices. Where is eBay at? Okay, there's eBay. And you can see about the same. So it looks like a reload there actually for the Xiaomi. So once again, iOS comes out on top in the multitasking. Although I, that wasn't that bad if you ask me for the Xiaomi. That was pretty decent multitasking. I think you're not going to have a problem too much with the multitasking on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. So let's talk a little bit more about the devices. That was basically the speed test. Now in terms of camera, I do think based on my testing so far, you get a better camera on the both front and the back of the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. 13 megapixel and the shots, don't be by the megapixels that's not always a true story but the shots in my opinion they look a little more pleasing on this camera than this camera now on the front you do have a five megapixel camera and that also looked a little more pleasing on the Xiaomi Redmi Pro over the iPhone 5s so overall which device is the better device I think they're pretty close honestly you know a budget phone today the iPhone 5s is a budget phone today but I do think that you get much more value in the Xiaomi Redmi Pro now I know a lot of Apple fanboys are gonna be like oh no I love my 5s forget that crap Chinese phone and you know just saying a bunch of nonsense without even trying the phone and this UI might look a little cartoony on video but in person the screen is gorgeous it's a big screen this feels this phone doesn't feel any cheaper to me than an iPhone 6s and an iPhone 7 plus this this device is really it feels really premium it feels like 10 times the cost of what you pay for this device also you could turn on the TV with this this guy right here but really what this comes down to is do you want iOS or do you want Android once again this is actually pretty close looking to iOS there's no app drawer on this my UI 8 and this is iOS 10.2.1 so it really comes down to that do you want iOS 
or do you want Android here? Now, this is probably the closest to an iPhone. Like I say, the feel and body feel, the way the icons look that I have seen on an Android phone. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up here. I think this is more in line with something like an iPhone 6 Plus to compare to. But you know, this we're gonna start, we're gonna start off with the iPhone 5S versus the Xiaomi Pro. Anyways, if you guys got any video suggestions, comment them down below to pit up against the Xiaomi Redmi Pro. And uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, click the like button for me. This was Nick here helping to master your technology. Be sure to be well and peace.